The front-runner in the French presidential election has told the BBC that the EU must reform or face the prospect of Frexit. Pro-EU centrist Emmanuel Macron made the comments as he and his far-right rival Marine Le Pen entered the last week of campaigning. French voters go to the polls on Sunday to decide between the pair. Ems Le Pen has capitalized on anti-EU feeling, and has promised a referendum on France's membership. She won support in rural and former industrial areas by promising to retake control of France's borders from the EU and slash immigration. The polling average line looks at the five most recent national polls and takes the median value, e, the value between the two figures that are higher and two figures that are not lower. I'm a pro-European, I defended constantly during this election the European idea and European policies because I believe it's extremely important for French people and for the place of our country in globalization, Mr Macron, leader of the recently created En Marca movement, told the BBC. But at the same time, we have to face the situation, to listen to our people, and to listen to the fact that they are extremely angry today impatient and the dysfunction of the EU is no more sustainable. So I do consider that my mandate, the day after, will be at the same time to reform in depth the European Union and our European project. Mr Macron added that if he were to allow the EU to continue to function as it was would be a betrayal. And I don't want to do so, he said. Because the day after, we will have a freaksit or we will have, M's Le Pen's, National Front, FN. Again. Both Mr Macron, who is leading in the polls by 20 percentage points, and Dems Le Pen will hold rallies in Paris later. The pro-business Mr Macron will seek to highlight his appeal as a future-orientated innovator by speaking at a modern convention centre near the Lavillette Science Complex in northeast Paris, Agence France Press reports. Ems Le Pen will take her case as the people's candidate to the working-class suburb of Villepinte. The agency adds. Traditional May Day protests are also expected. Trade unions are taking to the streets to urge voters to block the FN, while FN founder Jean-Marie Le Pen attended a march from the statue of Joan of Arc, a longtime FN icon. Jean-Marie Le Pen was kicked out of the FN by his daughter two years ago for repeatedly calling the Holocaust a detail of history. Remarks which were preventing Marine Le Pen from putting distance between the party and its past links with anti-Semitism. Sunday was France's National Day of Remembrance for the French Jews who were deported to Nazi Germany during the Second World War. Mr Macron visited Paris's Holocaust Memorial to pay his respects, while Ems Le Pen laid a wreath at the World War II monument in Marseille. But the war remains a difficult area for Ems Le Pen. She suggested earlier this month France was not responsible for a 1942 wartime roundup of 13,000 Jews, who were sent from France to Nazi death camps. Meanwhile, Jean-François Jorg, the man she named as interim president of the FN while she campaigned, was forced to step down on Tuesday amid claims he had questioned the reality of Nazi gas chambers, which is a crime under French law. He denies wrongdoing. French presidential front-runner Emmanuel Macron said that the European Union EU, must reform or face the prospect of a freexit, an exit from the 27-member bloc, the media reported. Macron, the pro-EU centrist made the comments as he and his far-right rival Marine Le Pen entered the last week of campaigning. I'm a pro-European, I constantly defended during this election the European idea and European policies because I believe it's extremely important for French people and for the place of our country in globalization, Macron told the BBC on Sunday. But at the same time, we have to face the situation, to listen to our people, and to listen to the fact that they are extremely angry today, impatient and the dysfunction of the EU is no more sustainable. So I do consider that my mandate will be at the same time to reform in depth the European Union and our European project, he said. The presidential hopeful added that if he were to allow the EU to continue to function as it was, it would be a betrayal. And I don't want to do so. We will have a freaksit or we will have Le Pen's National Front again, he told the BBC. Macron, who is leading in the polls by 20 percentage points, 
and Le Pen spent Sunday campaigning around France. He visited Paris's Holocaust Memorial. Sunday was France's national day of remembrance for the French Jews who were deported to Nazi Germany during World War II. French voters go to the polls on Sunday to decide between Le Pen, reports the BBC. Le Pen has capitalized on anti-EU feeling, and has promised a referendum on France's membership. She won support in rural and former industrial areas by promising to retake control of France's borders from the EU and slash immigration. Mr Macron, an independent who leads his far-right rival Marine Le Pen by around 20 percentage points in the polls, is a pro-EU centrist. But ahead of Sunday's head-to-head -head in the second and final round of voting in the contest, Mr Macron has warned of the impact of the dysfunction of Brussels on France. I'm a pro-European, I defended constantly during this election the European idea and European policies because I believe it's extremely important for French people and for the place of our country in globalization, he told the BBC. But at the same time, we have to face the situation, to listen to our people, and to listen to the fact that they are extremely angry today, impatient and the dysfunction of the EU is no more sustainable. So I do consider that my mandate, the day after, will be at the same time to reform in depth the European Union and our European project. Warning that allowing Brussels to continue as it currently functions would be a betrayal, Mr Macron added, and I don't want to do so. Because the day after, we will have a Frexit or we will have, Ms Le Pen's, National Front, FN, again. Ms Le Pen has promised a referendum on EU membership and has pledged a tough stance on immigration. She has won support among voters in rural and industrialized areas of France, which came out strongly for her in the first round of voting. Last week she stepped down as leader of the Front National while she campaigns. However, the man she chose as her interim successor, Jean-Francois Jolk, stood down amid claims he questioned whether the Nazis ran gas chambers. The allegation is a crime under French law bar Mr. Jork denies wrongdoing. French presidential front runner Emmanuel Macron has warned that the European Union must reform or face Frexit. Polls predict the pro EU 39 year old, a former economy minister, will win the May 7 runoff against far right leader Marine Le Pen with about 59 60 percent. But the momentum has recently been with Le Pen, who has clawed back about five percentage points over the past week. Macron, looking to maintain his 20% lead on his rival, this morning warned the EU must reform or face a Brexit-style vote. He told the BBC, I'm a pro-European, I defended constantly during this election the European idea and European policies because I believe it's extremely important for French people and for the place of our country in globalization. But at the same time, we have to face the situation, to listen to our people, and to listen to the fact that they are extremely angry today, impatient and the dysfunction of the EU is no more sustainable. So I do consider that my mandate, the day after, will be at the same time to reform in depth the European Union and our European project. Allowing the EU to continue to operate as it does currently would be a betrayal, he added. And I don't want to do so. Because the day after, we will have a Frexit or we will have, Ms Le Pen's, National Front, FN, again. A week before the decisive second round in France's presidential election, many voters are skeptical that either of the two candidates can solve chronic unemployment or tackle security concerns, a poll published on Sunday found. The IFOP survey for the journal Dudamanch highlights two key battlegrounds as centrist presidential candidate Emmanuel Macron and far-right opponent Marine Le Pen enter a final week of campaigning, France's economy and borders. Polls predict that Macron, a former economy minister, will win the May 7 runoff with about 59-60%. But the momentum has recently been with Le Pen, who has clawed back about five percentage points over the past week. According to the IFOP poll, 45% of voters believe the two finalists would not put an end to unemployment, which has for years stood close to 10% in France. And 36% say neither candidate is able to protect France from attacks. 
France has been under a state of emergency since 2015 and has suffered a spate of Islamist militant attacks, mostly perpetrated by young men who grew up in France and Belgium. More than 230 people have been killed in the past two years. Days before the first round of voting on April 23 a French policeman was shot dead and two others were wounded in central Paris in an attack claimed by the Islamic State group. The result of the runoff vote will depend to a large extent on floating voters and the level of abstentions. In the first round 22.2% of voters abstained, the highest percentage since 2002 when Marine Le Pen's father, Jean Marie, one through to the second round only to be soundly defeated by conservative Jacques Chirac. This time if turnout is low in the second round analysts say Macron could struggle to reproduce the same broad movement against the National Front candidate, citing his mainly free market policies at a time when anti-establishment feeling has been on the rise in Europe and the United States. Left-wing candidate Jean-Luc Mélenchon with 19.6% of the votes in the first round, has urged his supporters to oppose Le Pen but has refused to back Macron for the second round. Le Pen travelled to Marseille on Sunday to speak on the environment, a key issue for Melanchian supporters, while Macron visited the Holocaust Memorial in Paris. The IFOP poll found 42% of voters believe neither Macron nor Le Pen would be able to reunite the country after months of bitter campaigning while 43% questioned whether either would be able to govern after capturing the Elysee Palace. France returns to the polls in June to select members of the National Assembly, the lower house of parliament, where a majority is needed to push through government policies. Both Macron, who launched a new party a year ago, and Le Pen, whose National Front has only two seats in the National Assembly, have faced questions about their ability to build a parliamentary majority. Le Pen said on Saturday defeated right-wing candidate Nicolas dupont aignan would be her prime minister if she won. In a statement outlining the alliance struck with dupont aignans small nationalist party, Le Pen said there was no rush to dump the euro and that other policy changes might take precedence, in what appeared to be a softening of her stance towards the single currency. She appeared to reverse this position on Sunday, making clear in a video published on newspaper Le Parisien's website that she was still intent on leaving the euro eventually. A policy coordinator with Le Pen confirmed she would call a referendum within six months on France's future in the European Union, and therefore on the euro, if she were to be elected. Analysts said the confusion was largely due to the fact that Le Pen's plans to quit the EU and the euro are among the least popular policies in her protectionist, anti-immigration electoral platform. Macron received support on Sunday from Jean-Louis Borloo, a previous leader of the UDA, a small centrist party, but as yet to say who he would ask to lead a government. Yesterday he paid homage to the tens of thousands of French Jews killed in the Holocaust with a somber, simple message to voters, never again. Chance of Macron, President. Mixed with tears of sorrowful remembrance as he visited the Holocaust Memorial in Paris, walking past panels bearing the names of those deported to death in Nazi camps, while Holocaust survivors and children of its victims looked on. It was the second time in three days that Mr. Macron visited a site tied to France's wartime history, as he seeks to remind voters of the shame of France's Nazi collaboration, and especially of the anti-Semitic past of his rival Marine Le Pen's far-right National Front Party. The two face a presidential runoff on May 7. Ms. Le Pen herself, who has worked for years to detoxify her party's image laid a wreath at a memorial to France's deported Jews in Marseille on Sunday, a national day of remembrance. Yet the gesture cannot undo decades of anti-Semitism that still poisons her party. Her own father has been convicted of describing the gas chambers as a detail of history, and her temporary party leader was removed just last week for similar comments. After visiting the Holocaust Memorial and a wall honoring French people who protected Jews during the German occupation, Mr. Macron said, we have a duty today to their memory. The 39-year-old former economy minister lamented a moral weakening that could tempt some people to say all things are relative, 
that could tempt others to negate the Holocaust, a position some people find refuge in because what happened is unforgettable and unforgivable, and should never happen again.